Hey everyone, this is Slyman. Today we're going to be looking at the Bader Click Lock Visual Back System. Or as I like to call it, the astronomer's version of the fidget spinner. I don't know what it is about this thing, but every time I walk past my telescope, I have to play with it. I just, I can't not spin it. In all seriousness though, this click lock system gives you a very simple, secure, and convenient way to attach eyepieces and accessories to your telescope. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Oh yeah, we were going now, sorry. It's not uncommon after you do a slew on a German equatorial mount for your diagonal to be totally pointed in a different direction. And this is where the click lock really makes things simple. Uh, all you do is you just unlock it, turn the diagonal where you want, relock it back up, and just like that you are recentered. I mean, it is that easy. Now you don't have that problem on an altitude azimuth mount because the diagonal position never changes, but on an equatorial mount when you're constantly changing the position of the diagonal, I mean, it is just that simple to relock it down and lock it down securely. Not only is this incredibly easy to use, um, but I love how secure it makes your accessories. You can put in a camera, lock it down, and you can basically image with confidence knowing that your camera is not going to fall out. So to me, not only is it the easiest to use visual back, it's also the one that provides the most security. So just to give you an example of how much weight the click lock is capable of holding, this is an Explore Scientific 2 inch diagonal, a Celestron Luminos 2.5 power Barlow lens, and an Explore Scientific 35 millimeter 2 inch eyepiece. Um, and so basically if I turn this, unlock it, and bring it over to the side and relock it up, the click lock holds it just fine. That's a lot of weight, about 4 pounds. And gravity obviously is applying a torque here, it's pulling down on this, this end, trying to rotate it down, and the click lock still holds all of that without a problem. It's, it's pretty amazing how much weight it can hold so securely. Another really nice thing about the click lock is it pushes the distance from the diagonal to the actual optical tube further. So I can comfortably view, you know, without hitting my head on the optical tube. Uh, a lot of one and a quarter inch diagonals will put the eyepiece right about here, and so you can actually hit your head, um, but the click lock sufficiently pushes out that diagonal so that doesn't happen. You can just comfortably view uh, without having to worry about the OTA at all. To discuss a few of the finer points of the click lock, um, I really like that they make the click locks with a nice rubber ring around them. It's really thick, so it's really easy to grip and manipulate. So, you know, if you have big hands, small hands, doesn't really matter. There's enough room on here that you can easily manipulate the click lock. If you're a cold weather observer, uh, the click lock is easily large enough um, to be turned with gloved hands. Uh, so you can unlock it, you know, take your accessory out, put in a different one, and easily relock re it back up if you're wearing gloves. So let's say you want to use one and a quarter inch accessories with your uh, click lock. Well, you can simply just insert a, you know, a, a two inch to one and a quarter inch adapter, or Bader uh, sells a two inch to one and a quarter inch click lock if you're feeling particularly spendy. Uh, so there's a variety of options that you have with the click lock system because they make so many different kinds. So what's really cool about the whole Bader click lock system is it just requires a 20, 20 degree turn to lock it up and a 20 degree turn to unlock it. It's really, really easy to use um, and really simple. The other cool thing is your cameras, eyepieces, etc. are centered when you use the click lock. And also it uses a, a, a bronze compression ring on the inside that's really thick, so it's not gonna lose its shape. So these are designed to last for years. I, they kind of are expensive, but there's a reason for it because they're really, really good products. So this one is just the two inch by 24 TPI uh, Schmidt Cassegrain version. They make them for a bunch of different telescopes, uh, but it just threads right on. And then you're just basically ready for two inch accessories. It's pretty much that simple. Also, since your standard Schmidt Cassegrain focal reducer is, you know, two inch by 24 TPI, you can screw that onto the telescope. And then you can put your click lock right onto the focal reducer. So 
So you can use the click lock with your focal reducer or without. To be perfectly honest, I can't believe how long it took me to actually buy a Vader click lock. And now that I have had one for, you know, six months or so, I am totally sold on it. It's it's a fantastic system and a major, major upgrade over your standard visual back. The ability to, you know, sit, have everything centered, secured, easily just take it in and out by just twisting something. It's really innovative and really simple. All right, everyone. Well, that's my review of the Bader Click Lock Visual Back System. If I had a rating system, this product would be on the top of that rating. Uh, these are awesome visual backs. They make them for a variety of products. So if you're looking for something to easily secure any of your telescope accessories with or cameras or anything, the Bader Click Lock is an excellent choice. So thanks so much for watching and have a good one.